If we can bring you in here, Sir Professor Paul Milgram. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> well, thank you. Professor Milgram, have you ever been to India? Yes, although it's been quite a few years since the last time I was there. Um, and uh, mostly I was just around Mumbai and I didn't get out, uh, out and around very much. Um, I was working with uh, a telco back then okay. about uh, you know, what's going on in telecom industry. So it was <laughs> okay. a business trip. So in the course of this program, among the other subjects, we are going to be discussing democracy in India and around the world. I just wanted to point out that in your next US presidential elections in 2024, you are going to have two Indians contesting against each other. Kamala Harris versus Nikki Haley. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Paul Milgram, one overriding factor that is deeply worrying for developing countries, including India, is there is a huge asymmetry in the global distribution of innovations. The rich countries tend to grab most of the best products. We've seen it with new green technologies. Now, unfortunately, we're seeing it through an unequal distribution with vaccines too. The rich countries are getting more than their fair share of vaccines. So while vaccines are just not reaching the poor nations, there are more than a hundred countries that haven't got the vaccine yet. Yeah, uh, so, well, the, those are two different things, the vaccines and the green technologies. The, the, um, uh, so about the green technologies, of course, they don't benefit. In order to benefit the world, we have to reduce emissions everywhere. We've got to get carbon emissions down across the whole world. So the, the drive to cooperate there will be greater, although there's also a, um, a free rider problem. That is, if, if some country doesn't participate, you know, um, they benefit from everyone else's carbon emissions um, and uh, they harm everyone else by their failure. So, so the, the difficulties of negotiating that are significant. Hopefully the world will come together on that. Um, vaccines, I mean, it's, I mean, it's so painful to see what's going on with vaccines. On the, on the one hand, you know, this is not the last pandemic. One, unfortunately, um, We've known for a long time that pandemics were coming. This one is really bad, and hopefully the next one won't be as bad. But the um, the the ability to to the need to invest in um, in plants to produce these vaccines, there's got to be a return to that, and and the rich countries are not naturally going to gain some advantage from that. But the poor countries are just the the, the right now. I think everybody. It, it, it seems so unfair the way the uh, uh, the poor countries are are getting much too little. So um, exactly how we can maintain the incentives for the rich countries to invest in the production facilities and the and the research we need, and yet to treat people around the world fairly. That's there's a real tension there that needs to be resolved. And um, this is not the last pandemic, and and we need to be thinking about how we're going to do this in the future. I can see you feel very strongly about that. That sort of came from your, uh, straight from your heart. Oh, it does. 